Upon a Pond. Yellow Upon Productions Upon presents the Marriott Resort and Spa, Waikiki Beach, Hawaii. This is a very large Marriott. It's composed of two main towers, the tallest being 33 floors with a total of 1,175 rooms. The Marriott has an excellent location at the south end of Waikiki in front of the Kuhio Beach Park, a sandy part of Waikiki that is protected from waves for excellent swimming and wading. For those looking for a quiet Hawaiian vacation away from the hustle and bustle of city life, Waikiki may not be the thing for you. This one and a half mile stretch of beach is tourist mecca in Hawaii. Just about every hotel chain you can think of has a hotel here in Waikiki. So Waikiki is not the place to go to get away from it all, but it's the place to go where all the action is. The hotel's lobby is an indoor outdoor space that has fountains, tables and chairs, an ABC store, which is the Hawaiian equivalent of 7-Eleven, and a Seattle's Best Coffee on the side. Towards the back is the tour lobby, where buses pick up and drop off at the hotel. On the other side of the lobby is the concierge and the check-in area. It's a very big hotel, so there are a number of different check-in desks, and there's also a special line just for elite members. On the ground floor of the hotel is the shops at the Marriott Shopping Center. There are about 20 different stores inside. Facing the street is another Seattle's Best Coffee and an Italian restaurant. Inside the mall are shops where you can buy all sorts of Hawaiian souvenirs and, of course, a Marriott Vacation Club timeshare sales office. There's a shop where you can buy all of your Aloha shirts. For scuba aficionados, there's a store specializing in scuba. But my favorite store at this hotel definitely has to be Bob's Ukulele, specializing in what else? Ukuleles. And this store definitely operates on what is known as island time. It is open from 9 a.m. to noon and then 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. On Sundays, they're open for all of two hours. Back outside the hotel facing the ocean is a Harley Davidson store. There is also another ABC store because one hotel can't have enough convenience stores inside of it. And then finally, there is the hotel's buffet restaurant, which offers a $22.95 prime rib special. Located just above the lobby, up on the third floor, is the hotel's fitness center. The fitness center is fairly large. It has lots of new equipment. The treadmills and ellipticals all have the Life Fitness television viewing system. Many hotel gyms are located in dark basements. Not this gym. It has lots and lots of windows and overlooks one of the hotel's swimming pools. Each tower has its own swimming pool. The back tower pool is a little bit smaller. The front tower pool is a little bit bigger. The front pool has an added benefit of an adjacent cafe where you can order some snacks and lounge in the sun. And just a quick miscellaneous note before we go check out the hotel rooms is the hotel does have its own laundromat, $3.50 for a wash and $3.50 for a dry. The elevator lobbies have been somewhat refurbished. The hallways themselves are somewhat dated, uh, having not been refurbished for a while, but uh, it is nice that each floor has an ice machine that is signed in both English and Chinese characters. This is room 3169 in the Pakakolani Tower. Come in and let me show you around. So the room, uh, as far as a Marriott room goes, is a fairly standard Marriott room. The beddings kind of have a Hawaiian print on them. They've recently upgraded the lights on the sides of the bed to have some flexible LED lights. Uh, the ceilings are still kind of the popcorn ceilings from uh, the year beyond. There is a flat panel television in the room, along with a refrigerator underneath the television. Over in the back of the room, this way, uh, there are two seating chairs uh, with a table lamp. And uh, then over here, there is a desk that you can sit and do your work. But, uh, you know, you don't really pay to stay in Waikiki Beach for the room. You actually stay here for the view out on the balcony. So come and take a look at the view on the uh, 31st floor here. On the balcony, uh, there are two chairs, one that I'm sitting in, another one over there. There's also a little table that you can have a lunch or breakfast on. And then there's a view of all of Waikiki from up here. It's quite amazing.
And the final part of the room is a small but functional closet uh, that somebody so kindly left me a number two pencil in so I can take my SAT tests. Uh, and then there's the bathroom over around this way from the corner. Uh, the bathroom looks like it hasn't really been refurbished. Uh, it has a, a sink that looks like it's been here kind of a long time. There's a coffee pot on the left hand side and then a separate room uh, that has the uh, bathtub and toilet that you can close the door on so someone can do makeup while someone's over here. Just a couple of notes in closing, this Marriott is considered a resort hotel, so there is no concierge lounge, so gold and platinum members do not get free breakfast, though they do get free internet access. Say the other big complaint people have about the hotel is the parking situation. The parking garage is fairly small and expensive, about $40 a night. Overall, I would highly recommend this hotel for a stay in Waikiki. I've stayed at this hotel on two different trips to Waikiki and have enjoyed it on both of my stays. However, if you're looking for something a little more upscale and out of the way, you might want to check out the JW Marriott Koalina. And you're in luck. Right there in the upper left, I have a review of the JW Marriott Koalina just for you. If you want to know more about the Waikiki beaches, I also have a Waikiki beach guide there in the lower left. Go ahead, watch one of those videos. I think you'll find them entertaining and informative.